Do you want to downgrade macOS Sequoia to macOS Sonoma without losing data? Hello friends, I am Carly. Here's how to gracefully step back to a familiar macOS. Please note that downgrading incorrectly can cause the risk of data loss. So, it is important to endure a safe downgrade after backup. So, let's watch the video till the end. The first thing you need to do is to use Time Machine Backup. Make sure your external storage device is connected to your Mac computer. Here, I have connected my USB drive to the Mac. Now, go to the Apple logo at the top left corner. Then, click on System Settings. Click on General. Then select Time Machine. Make sure you have set up Time Machine Backup for macOS Sonoma. Backup your important files to an external drive. To downgrade from macOS Sequoia, we need an old version of the macOS installer. So, we need to download the macOS Sonoma file from the App Store. Click on the link given in the video description to find macOS Sonoma in the App Store. Click on the Open App Store option or launch the App Store on your Mac computer and type macOS Sonoma into the search box. As you can see, macOS Sonoma is available for download. Click on the Get button to start downloading on your Mac computer. After that, your Mac opens the software update page under the system settings. Wait until your device checks for updates. If the download is available, click on the Download macOS Sonoma pop-up Wait and don't close the window until the download process is complete. This process takes time, depending on the speed of the internet connection. Follow the same steps if the download process is interrupted or stopped in between. Once the download process is complete, you will see the installation screen pop up. Don't start from this screen. Go to the top menu bar and click on Install macOS Sonoma to see the options. Then, click on Quit Install Mac OS or press the Command and Q keys together on the keyboard to do the same. Then, click on Quit to cancel the installation process. The Mac OS Sonoma installation file is now saved under the Finder Windows Applications folder. Launch the Finder from the dock and go to the Applications section. The Mac OS Sonoma file installation is available here. It's time to take the second step, creating a macOS bootable installer. For this process, we need 16 GB of USB drive space. Here's how to do it. In this process, you need to erase your USB drive first. So, you need to back up your important data. Plug your USB drive into the Mac computer. Then, open the spotlight by pressing the command and space keys together and type the terminal. Then, click on it to open the terminal. Then, copy the command depending on which Mac OS you have downloaded. Command is available in the video description. Here, I want a command for Mac OS Sonoma, so I am copying and pasting it into the terminal. Suppose you want to change the drive name, right-click on it and go with the rename option. Then, rename it. If the USB drive's name is different, replace it with my volume in the command. After that, copy and paste the command into the terminal. Then, press the return key to run the command. Enter your Mac login password. Make sure you know the password and enter it correctly. Then, press the return key. After that, press the Y key on your Mac keyboard to continue. The installer drive erases first and then copies the macOS Sonoma file to your bootable drive. This process may take some time, depending on the data transfer speed. Wait until the message appears in the terminal to install the media. Check if the install macOS Sonoma is available in the Finder window. The third last step is installing macOS Sonoma in recovery mode. Keep the USB drive connected to your Mac computer. Then, go to the Apple icon at the top left corner. Then, click on the Shut Down and confirm the Shut Down option. Wait for at least 10 seconds. 
After that, for Apple Silicon Max, press and hold the power button for Apple Silicon Max until you see the start volume on your Mac screen. If you have an Intel-based Mac, press and hold the Command and R keys together to start the Mac. I have an Apple Silicone NEM 2 chip Mac, so I need to press and hold the power button. Now, you can see all startup partitions and the installer drive. Now, select options to erase your drive first, because we can't install directly, which means the volume cannot be downgraded. You are in recovery mode. Select Disk Utility and click on the Continue button. So first, you need to erase the partition or volume. Here, I have two partitions, so I am erasing old macOS from this partition. My partition name is macOS 15. In your case, if you have no partition and only single macOS, then select Main Hard Drive Macintosh HDD and click on the Erase option from the top menu. Select Apps File Format and erase the drive installed macOS Sequoia. It will take a few seconds. Close this window. From the top Apple menu, shut down your Mac and wait for 10 seconds. Keep bootable drive connected to your Mac. Now, put your Mac into recovery mode by press and hold the power button until you see the startup volume and options show on screen. Click on macOS bootable drive and continue. Wait for you see macOS recovery screen. And enter your Apple ID and password to verify. Click on next. Again, click continue from the macOS Sonoma installation. Wait for a few seconds. Until loading the information, Agree to the terms and conditions. Then, select the partition where you want to install the macOS Sonoma and click on the Continue button. After that, select the user and click on the Install button. The pop-up may appear on your Mac computer to plug the Mac with a power source during installation. Click on the Continue button. Enter the Mac login details such as username and password and click the OK button. Wait until the installation process is completed. Click the Continue button. Now, set up your Mac as a new one and you can restore the old data if you have taken it previously. That's it! You have downgraded the Mac OS successfully. You can check under the system settings, general and software update. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the latest technical video updates.